In this video, we are going to see about how to get a distinction in first year MBBS. I'll be talking about all three subjects in this one single video. I am Rohit Pivyar, a final medical student at Madhuri Medical College. And I got two distinctions and uh, unfortunately missed uh, a distinction in physiology by eight marks. I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm saying this to show you that if someone like me can get something good like this, you can definitely do a lot better than this. First of all, understand the examiner psychology. You just have to let the examiner know that you are exceptional. You are better than the rest of the people. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. They're definitely going to be very happy to give you marks so high that you will end up getting a distinction. So, simple as well, exam let us scene born. Epula scene born. Presentation, paper and presentation, here or here, wherever. I have linked uh, the video to this paper presentation video. In that, I have talked everything about paper presentation. You should definitely check it out. Have a legible handwriting, underline, highlight, and draw a ton of diagrams. Diagrams are the key to distinction. Nalla super proper diagrams. You should be drawing solid 10 by 10 diagrams. It should look just perfect. It's like this is a diagram that I drew. I just, just think, if they see this diagram, they'll be forced to give you a distinction. They have no other choice. They'll be like, this guy knows I'm giving him distinction. When it comes to anatomy, essay, essay la, write 10 pages. For example, let's assume the question is breast. Write 10 pages of content. First page la, synopsis are imported. Put synopsis, introduction, embryology, anatomy, nerve supply, blood supply, lymphatic supply. Clinical anatomy, just write all of this and start making a table gone about to write all of this and then you write the content. This will like attract the examiner and like, okay, this guy knows what he is doing. So we'll just give him the mark. Anatomy, diagram, diagram, diagram. Diagram. Essay la, at least bare minimum four diagrams. It will be better if every single page has a diagram, but it's practically not that easy. But at least draw small, small diagrams here and there. Like small, small, simple, simple diagrams, line diagrams, somebody. Draw some diagram every single page. It's very easy to get a distinction if you do so. And also make sure that the diagrams are colored properly marked because only that will fetch you marks. One more extra pro tip is just overlaying the diagram with a black pen. It'll look even more aesthetic. Keywords are the proper highlight. Panel. There are some particularly important words that the examiner would expect. For example, suffin is opening now. And the cribriform abrinder word they will definitely expect. But breast up and actually they have pens that they'll, that they'll expect. Internal memory node that they'll expect. So there are these particular points that will let the exam know that you know something more than others. You are doing something better. So definitely write the keywords, underline it properly. And one more pro tip is always for every single, when I say every single, every single, every single essay short note, write clinical anatomy. Tani or box for dip, write clinical anatomy. That will be a game changer. There is no doubt in that. Everything clinical anatomy. Write everything in bullets. See, the examiner doesn't want to read everything, man. Just understand that. The examiner is not going to read from A to Z. He's just going to see your diagrams, this water, your underline, your important bullets, your presentation. He will give you the marks and he will go. Physiology is a flowchart. If they're asking about, uh, uh, for example, let's assume, yeah, cerebrospinal fluids, physiology, you know. You should know everything. Either the proper flowchart, that's it. You don't have to write in parallel. Just put the flowchart, tick, mark, go, get lost. Simple, effortless. Biochemistry, na, reactions and cycles. Write the, for example, if they're asking about phenyl ketonuria, write the associated uh, reaction. Put the biochemical defect. What are the clinical features? What is the treatment? If you put all this, na, there is nothing else there. They'll just give you four marks and they'll just let you go. That's it. Simple. I can understand your situation. You are really tense that you have to prove this to others that you are really studious. It's really, really great that you're doing something like this. You are aiming for something so high. That's really good. Keep calm. Create a timetable. Focus on studying properly. Daily or eight hours study. It's okay. One month alone, just study for eight hours. It's okay. Then you can relax happily for... Uh, you can relax. So, study. Study hard. First year is very important. So, getting a distinction in first year is like really good. That's a very good aim. So, definitely study well. If you have more doubts, Definitely hit me up in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to respond to you. And in this video, I know for a fact that it's going to be crazy important to you. So, check it out. And I'll see you in this video.